Right, so here is my example case. I have GUI 1, which just consists of a single text button that says open GUI 2, and I have GUI 2, which, if I enable it, is a text label that says you activated GUI 2, but I'm going to keep it disabled for now. So in the GUI 1, I want to be able to click this button and open GUI 2, so I'm going to add a local script for that. Alright, so first I need to make a variable over to the other GUI 2. So to do that, I'm going to make a variable called GUI 2, and I'm going to set that to the game.players.localplayer. This gets the local player object. We're going to get the player GUI inside there, and we're going to wait for the GUI 2 to appear. So we're going to wait for the GUI 2 to load it, if it hasn't already, inside the uh, local player's player GUI. And of course, you can also have your button, which is just my button here, which is script.parent.text button. Right now, what I'm going to do is, if you click the button with your left click, then we are going to connect that to a function. We're going to set the GUI2.enabled to true, and this is all you need to do. So, let me test it. Alright, so here I have my button, and if I click it, you can see it activated GUI2. So thanks for watching everyone, uh, you can suggest more video ideas in the comments, um, I will see you next time, bye guys!